Hey guys, um, I wanted to take some time to talk about something, um, a little bit, aka like a lot, <laughs> more, um, more serious than I normally do, um, because our stand group at my school came and like talked to us today and it got me thinking about, um, this um, nonprofit that I'm kind of involved with. Um, you guys may have um, your own opinions on this, and I understand. But um, um, I'm I have been at least somewhat involved in Invisible Children for I think three years now. Like, see, there's my little soldier guy sticker. <laughs> um, but basically, like, they're a nonprofit. Um, based in San Diego, California, and they're trying to um, stop a guy named Joseph Coney from um, wreaking havoc in Central Africa. He abducts children and forces them to fight and to just just do horrible things to people. And like he has girls that he ha uses as like wives, like like. I mean, to, to be blunt, they're sex slaves. Like, ew. <laughs> and these are all, like, kids. And he, like, displaces a bajillions of people. And this has been going on for, like, 27 years this year, I think. And I think it's ridiculous. So what Invisible Children is, like, trying to do right now is they're trying to find him because he's just kind of hiding in the forests in Congo because they're huge mungus and easy to hide in. Um, but he, yeah, so that's like basically what they're doing right now, but they need like our help. They need us to like talk to politicians and like actually care, you know what I mean? Like we can't, like just expect it to go away, like we have to do something. Um, so, they're trying to, like, get word out, word out about that, which was what happened with, like, all the Coney 2012 stuff, but there was a lot of negative publicity about it, like, a lot, um, especially with, um, one of the co-founders, Jason's mental breakdown. That has something to do with the, because when... There was controversy about the, about the nonprofit, about Invisible Children, because of like the whole, you know, 2012, like everyone in the whole universe knows about it. Um, there was a lot of negativity centered around Jason, one of the founders. I mean, that would freak you out. That is like basically the whole country being against you. Like, I feel like that would just freak me out and I would like just, just die. <laughs> um, but... So I think that it's wrong um, what's going on there, and I think we should do something. So um, I don't know how many people are going to see this, and I don't know how long it's going to take for this to get out there, and I don't even know, you know, if, if two people are going to watch it, you know, but I just, I wanted to take some time and talk about it because it needs to be talked about, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things that, like, if people don't stand up and talk about it, it's not going to be talked about because it doesn't directly affect us. It's not, I mean, not to, you know, talk down about it, but, like, it's not like, you know, Superstorm Sandy or whatever that directly, you know, you could know someone in New York who's being affected, you know what I mean? Or, like, in, you know, New Jersey or wherever, really. But with this, like, it's Central Africa, like, it's relatively unlikely that you're going to know someone in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't mean it's not happening. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I think... I don't know. I think it's important. I think we need to do something to stop it. Like, he's an indicted... or indicted or whatever... whatever the word is. He's legally a war criminal like seriously that's a problem he's on the ICC's list of people to get <laughs> you know what I mean but like it's just not 
happening. We need to do something. And, like, they don't just, like, it's not like they're just going to, like, find him and then be like, nope, done. But they're going, like, they're, they have, like, programs and stuff to, like, to, like, help. Like, they have, um, MEND, which is this, or at least they used to, um, they have this program where, um, it directly funds the lives of women in Central Africa. They, like, make stuff, um, normally it's, like, bags, like, purses and, like, messenger bags, you know, for guys or whatever, um, it's stuff like that, and it's got, um, their name embroidered on the inside with, like, a link, with, like, a web page thing, um, that, like, tells you about their story, um, and it, like, it's, like, helping them, and they have, like, early warning radio networks and stuff, and they have, um, like, they're building rehabilitation centers because, you know, being forced to be a soldier, I feel like that would mess you up mentally just a little bit, um, and, like, rehabilitation centers, and, um, they're building schools and stuff, like, it's just, I don't know, I like it. Um, even if you don't get involved with Invisible Children, um, please just, just do something, do something, like, it's just, I mean, you have, like, there's no way for you to say that it's not wrong what's going on there. It's, there's no way you can say that abducting kids from their homes and forcing them to commit horrible anything like killing people and burning villages and like these kids are scared to leave like that's a problem like they're so intimidated by this guy that they're scared to even just leave <sighs> so even if you don't do it like I mean even if you don't do something with invisible children specifically like just just at least think about doing something um thanks for letting me rant at you um I love you guys bye